economic hardship was at the heart of the revolution. But are you still thinking about the poor or are you still thinking about capitalist policies? We are very much aware of what you're saying, that, uh, that the economic hardship was one of the main causes of the revolution of the eruption of the revolution. And we want to respond to uh, one of the biggest demand of the Egyptian revolution, which is social justice. The new constitution doesn't have a ringing endorsement, does it, from Egyptians. Is Egypt divided? Uh, was France divided because of the previous uh, you know, election? Was the US divided? But this is democracy. You know, it was voted on by six, almost 64%. This is good. But, uh, I mean, of course, we wanted to have a better, a more consensus, but I think 64% is a very reasonable price. And the people have said what they wanted to say, and we have to listen to them. You are about to take receipt of billions of dollars in loans. Will that have an impact on the poor? We have a homegrown uh, reform program uh, that, that we have to do whether we have the IMF or, or not. Of course, we want to have the IMF. The, the program does not include uh, cutting subsidies and bread. On the contrary, but it, it is organizing the system, and we have done it uh, already, uh, it, that enables the poor to get uh, their share of bread uh, at very, very, very cheap uh, price without having to go to the hassle of standing long lines that they used to do before. What about Israel's election? What did you make of that result? The main thing is we want to see the peace process, uh, you know, resumed. Uh, the situation in in, uh, in the Palestinian lands cannot be uh, sustained, and we need to resume the 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 the, the, the talk uh, over the peace process very soon. Can you build on the treaty then between Israel and Egypt? Well, Egypt has played a major role in the last conflict in in Gaza Strip. Uh, I went there myself. And that was uh, that was some that was you know the first time that uh, uh, an official at that level go to the uh, Palestine occupied land uh, you know during especially during a conflict time and I think we have a major and regional role to play in our in our area and we, we intend to do that in the Palestinian process. And how can you advance the promise of the Arab Spring in the light of deepening economic and political uncertainties? Well, uh, I would I would uh, disagree with the political uncertainty that you mentioned uh, the last uh, part, because uh, we know exactly where we're heading. We have now an elected president, for the f civilian elected president for the for the first time in the history of modern Egypt. We have uh, a constitution that was uh, voted on by the Egyptian people, with the parliament in place. The economy is uh, is 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 not is not fixed yet. But we're heading to the right direction with the uh, reform program, with the IMF loan, with attracting foreign investment, with the, uh, with the, with the great potential of the Egyptian, of Egyptian economy. And I, I strongly think that uh, Egypt could be a model for the Arab Spring countries.